Welcome to Electro Online. Our next one, well, you may not realize it, but when we integrate that, we're going to need the natural log as a result. And you look at that and go, wow, where did that come from? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to take the denominator only and let, let that be equal to u. And of course, then I need a proper du. So if we're going to let u equal x squared minus 4, then du dx, the derivative of u with respect to x, would be equal to 2x, and my du is going to be equal to 2x dx. Now notice that if I have a u in the denominator, I need a du in the numerator, and I need a 2x dx, which means I'm missing the 2, so I'm going to multiply by 2, and of course I also have to divide by 2, multiply by a half. And now notice that 2x dx is a du in the numerator and I have a u in the denominator. So essentially, this becomes equal to 1 half times the integral of du over u. And of course, that you know to be the natural log of u. So this is equal to 1 half times the natural log of u plus a constant of integration. Sometimes I put absolute value signs around it, realizing that you cannot have a negative number in there when you take the natural log. All right. So that means that we do the same thing over here. We now realize that it's a du over u, and the differential in the numerator, 2x dx, will disappear. And we end up with being equal to 1 half times. Uh, we have the natural log of x squared minus 4 plus a constant of integration. And that is how we find the proper differential. And then notice, once you have the proper differential, it is easy to integrate. And that is how it's done.